repeat. Just yes, so far away. I know. <laughs> I'm drifting away slowly. Well, welcome back to Anderton's TV. <coughs> um, Hello. We, we're doing an experiment. Hello from the other side. Yes, we are. So the experiment here is, and this has come from uh, comments that we read that you guys leave in the comments section, yep. kind of asking, why do you always use expensive amplifiers to demo pedals? And I guess that's coming from people that don't have expensive amplifiers and perhaps want to hear what the pedal sounds like through something cheaper. Which is super fair. Yeah. It's a super fair it's comment. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to say. Yeah. So, the concept of this video is let's take four amplifiers at different price points. So we've got two incredibly popular amplifiers in the middle, uh, Great Value Katana 50 Mark II and the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Yeah. And then we've got two extremes. So we've got literally the East Coast 35 watt, you know, Start my first thing. amplifier yeah. type thing. And then we've got one of the best sounding amplifiers uh, in the universe, the Tone King Imperial Mark II, yep. at not much change out of three grand. Um, ooh, 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 it is. And then wow. we've got four pedals. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, an expensive Tube Screamer clone in the uh, Origin Halcyon Green, and an affordable Tube Screamer clone in the Nux Tube Man. And then the same again uh, using Klon clones with the Halcyon Gold from Origin versus the Nux Horseman. And we're just going to go through these four amplifiers. And, and I suppose the conclusion that we're hoping to come to is some sort of sense of if you've got an affordable amplifier, is there any point buying expensive pedals? In other yeah. words, do the affordable ones sound identical? Yeah. Up to the expect, maybe we'll find the opposite. Maybe, maybe we'll opposite. find that actually the affordable pedals sound awesome as long as you have a really expensive amplifier. Yeah. I mean, so you can buy expensive amplifiers and cheap pedals, but you know, it's all an experiment. It's all, this is yeah. literally an experiment. Pete's got an expensive guitar just to throw in the mix, which is obviously the, uh, his OG purple telly. And I've got kind of like a mid-priced, well, um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a mid-priced, uh, this is, um, the 1959 Epiphone, yeah. the one with the sort of the, the aged worn finish yeah. on it. Uh, which I don't think you can buy in this colour anymore, but you can buy in other colours. Uh, so, uh, I will say, actually, we'll give him a bit of a plug. Um, this guitar, I have recently fitted the Cream T El Capitan harmonicas oh! to. So it's just like an upgraded, modded version. Of Not it. the well, El Capitan. I say upgraded. It's obviously all subjective, isn't it? Why have I got this cable? What I don't is that, know, is that, that just, that's, just, that's that cable. just doesn't go anywhere. Or I was wondering... That, why have you got that cable? That's the put that's in, the amp cable, yeah. right? Okay. You can put it into your guitar. That's not going to. I was going to. Yes, that wouldn't. Work. Right. So we've mic'd each guitar amp up with the same microphone, and we've set them each up for a clean sound. They do get kind of slightly louder as we go down the line, just purely and simply because literally these last two just don't work. And is it because any. they're betterly? I don't know. Anyway, right. So let's get a clean tone with no pedals into the East Coast 35 watt jobby. See, immediately, I'm, I'm reaching for the tone control, but that's... I can make this slightly can brighter. That's better. So, I mean, it's right so for, just for, 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 for Noel, the uh, volume is on seven, <laughs> trebles on eight, uh, middles on five, bass is on five, reverbs on two. In case you ever <laughs> buy one of these, Noel, just so you know, right? In case you ever buy an East Coast. So let's hear a let's hear a really expensive Tube Screamer clone. Okay. So and this is set. Uh, we're not going to touch the settings. This is no. another thing I want to do is leave the settings as they are set now. We can we you you'll get a, we'll get a screenshot of that. And don't touch the settings whilst when we go through the pedals. Yeah. Um, you can see the settings on screen now. It's set to just a 808. Fine. With with no no adapter on. So it's just okay. So here we go. I mean, I love this pedal. It's great. I mean, the pedal is like three times as expensive as the amplifier. Absolutely. So let's try it with the affordable pedal. Two man. It sounds great, man. I'm just going to switch yeah. to the other one. 
feel like it's a little bit more uh, top end in, in, in that the one, so I'm one. just going to give it a yeah, little bit more. I agree. I still think there's more top end in the in the cheaper one. Let me take the um, top end off. Is there, there a, does, is there like a, I don't know, is, is, the, is, the, is the cheaper one more hummy? Like, as in... See, this is another thing yeah, where, where you move around. Yeah. So I'll find a quiet spot. Not, not really. Yeah, if anything, this one's a bit quiet. <laughs> I mean, All right. I, so honestly, um, so you try got... it with the try it with the the clons. So I mean, okay. at the moment, I'm sort of going, yeah, absolutely, complete waste of time to buy the expensive pedals with this amplifier at the moment on yeah. the tube screen one. Yeah, Sp spend that money on going to the cinema <laughs> with your friends instead. Or yes. buying You're a better amplifier. Maybe that's what. But we're about that's to prove. we we're about to find out, yeah. right? So here's the halogen gold. <laughs> What I'm hearing is that there's not much difference between that and that pedal. Ah, that's another thing. So maybe the amp doesn't have the kind of the bandwidth, like yeah. the broadness to actually show off. Yeah, let me just go back to the other one just so you can yeah. hear what I'm talking about. Here's the green. <laughs> might be it's slightly louder. Barky, isn't and it? And a bit more, a bit yeah. more sort of just fat, but it's very similar, mm. right? So here's the uh, fawn. What's it called? Horseman. Again? The horseman, which is a fawn. Back to the yeah. gold. It's definitely more barky. It's fatter, isn't yeah. it? It's got more compression and sustain, I think, the yeah. house. Well, let's go to the other setting, because it's got the gold setting, I think. It's definitely much more bark in there. Yeah, much fatter. Well, it should be. But what so I mean, very, but very what's good is you, even on an affordable amp, you can hear a difference. Yeah. Whether that's worth the money, I don't know. But, but it's not, you know, it, the, the difference was less with these two than it is with these two. Yeah. But yeah. whether it's, whether I'm going to spend 200 more pounds on that pedal, I've always I thought, wouldn't do it. I've always thought if I had an amp like this, yeah. and I, I've got to say as well, we used this amplifier in the band for a That's grand great, video man. the other day, and I yeah. thought this sounds amazing for the money. But if I had an amplifier like this, I would not be spending 200 pounds on a single no. pedal. I'd be buying one of those Veilton or similar you know, multi-effects units and getting everything. Obviously, and the that's a different conversation. Yes. I wouldn't. But I would with this amplifier. I wouldn't. Oh, interesting. Can I, I would get a, a couple of pedals. Can I have much, the cable? So it's I much can kind more of have fun. A... It's much more fun to hatch pedals. Catch. Yeah. Um, okay, so which one would you like on first? Let's just Here's do a the clean tone do, first. Do, okay. That sounds great. Doesn't like too much bass end, which is understandable because it's a small speaker. Are we, are we wait now, or shall I take it and just plug it in here, right? No, 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 we wait. Is, just, I'll, I'll play the. Because that's um, what you want to hear the difference between. Anyway, come. On. That's the good. Okay. It's so funny. I think, and uh, guitar players out there will probably relate to this. I think you hear frequencies and tones when you're playing that you don't hear when you when you're just when you're listening. listening to someone else oh, playing. Yeah, no. And for me, the Halcyon sounds smoother, and the um, Nux sounds a little bit more gritty at the top yeah. end. Can I just have the Nux on again for a minute? <laughs> Definitely more treble on the Nux. Yeah, uh, and I mean, then I the, put more treble in the uh, trebly Nux. And then the... I mean, that Ooh. does sound great. And the Horseman. I mean, 
it's not. This is not a, a comparison no, video no, no, about no. these pedals because, as we know, Clon Clones are the same. Tube Screamer sounds the same. Blues Break sounds the same, but as, with a tiny little twist on all of them. I suppose what we're doing is, we're, we're, as we go up through the more expensive amplifiers, will we hear more? of a difference does it let the more expensive pedal kind well, of fly somehow? there's only one way to but find out so why, anyway. don't you, why don't you play now because now you you go to all right to that amp so first. now we're in the uh, katana set to its clean mode gain and volume both about 10 or 11 o'clock identically matched bass <laughs> about two o'clock mid-range one o'clock treble uh, at noon no effects apart from the green reverb a quarter of the way up and we're in our 25 watt mode with the master volume at about one o'clock. So here yeah. is the... That's clean. How does that sound compared... It's, it's much more open, isn't it, than the, uh, yeah, it's the East more... Coast. More bass end, more open. A lot okay. more bass end. Yeah. <laughs> That was the Allison. Here comes the yep. tube end. Wow, I think they sound more similar through the katana, but just switch. I'm hearing much more topping. There's no point in if you're buying, if you have affordable, affordable cheap uh, amps to start with, that's not it's, Then it's, cheap honestly, pedals maybe might be the way, well, they might still be the way to go on deer amps, but anyway, let's, let's try see, the, that's yeah, the let's question. The... We all went for here, stay <laughs> close, tune to the end. You won't be happy, well, you won't believe what happened in number five or whatever. Here's the go. <laughs> That sounds good though. It sounds like now a, a fizzier sort of gain yeah, coming yeah. through the cheaper pedal that we didn't really hear yeah. when we heard. And why is that, Lee? Well, because perhaps as the amp gets better, it's easier to hear the differences between the two pedals. Ooh, see, that's why we might be using, I'm just saying, in the yeah. video. I mean, anyway. Okay, keep going. And go. Still, is the green dot, is that on? When that, it's, is that the, silver the, means that it's now in its, sorry, what is it? What's the screen print at the top? Is it, does the green mode activate silver, silver mode? Oh yeah. yeah, so go. it's Take gold it mode without it. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that again. I do think these Nux pedals are good, but. Yeah, mate. It yeah. dies off sort of in, yeah. in, in the. Um, that, 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 when you get the tone, it keeps going, but the other one goes, it sort of dips yeah. out. But is like that, that. that might just. I wonder if we would have heard that on the. Uh, didn't quite do that same test. It definitely. Ooh. There was a point where it just. The treble sounded fizzier uh, uh, when we went to the katana that didn't really come through on, on the East Coast amplifier. That's it. Let's stay on that horseman. <laughs> Okay, how is it? Horseman. It sounds very similar. So the, but the, I think the, maybe it's just the bigger speaker and the slightly more headroom in the boss is allowing the Halcyon to show off its fatness a yeah. bit more than it was on the East Coast, but. Tubeman. Huh? They sound so similar. I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
like the top end on the horseman. Uh, what yeah, do you yeah. call it? The nuts. But that's probably like... more like in terms of what it is when you put it in the mud setting here. Try it then. Okay, so the here's mud. the mud. Yeah. So here's the, the tube end. So this is a tube screamer that's kind of been modded to what yeah. you want it to sound like, not what an 808 would normally yeah. sound like, because this is the 808 setting, and in my ears it does sound more nasally. More nasal, yeah. Right? No, you can hear that now that it's got more, right? I think but, those two are more similar than the two Klon clones, but I like the Halcyon in its mod mode. Oh, I, I, like, it I like to mode. hear that yeah. uh, extra. It's wonderful, um, and then if you were playing on your, with yourself, uh, you can go into set to adapt one or two, but it's get more low end yeah. in it. So yeah. it's it's yeah. it's not a two screw anymore, really. Um, <laughs> it's got the flavor of it, but I still, <coughs> you know, I, th I think it's important whether you're talking about guitars, pedals, or um, amplifiers. Yeah. To you've re you've really got to forget about this idea that you know something that's five times as expensive has to somehow be five times better. N almost nothing is ever that ratio. You no. know, it's just, you know, price goes up much more steeply than quality, if that makes sense, or how good something is. So, you know, yeah. lots of money more to get, you know, small additional benefits. Increments. Anyway, increments, that was the word. I mean, uh, uh, okay. Uh, you no, know, Bentley Bentayga used... will still take you from A to B as well as a Indeed. Kia, whatever. That's not cheap now, Kia still, by the way. But, it, it, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it's Citroen C3. We don't 19... use this Hot Rod Deluxe enough. It's the, it, you I love know, it. It's for, my favorite, for, one of my favorite amps. From, from, you know, it's, it's still an amp that you'll see on stages around the world, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, let's have a little listen. So that's a clean tone. And that's, here... my own, that's my only criticism with the Hot Rod Deluxe is... The volume control has Still. this weird taper where if you go any quieter than that, it completely chokes goes, off the amp and sounds sh awful. Sh sh so boom. It like, does literally go from like nothing to I'm not ordered strum a chord, just want to see. Why haven't there. they got why haven't they sorted that out? That's version four now. Mm. Come on, Fender. Yeah. We're over ninety. Yeah. We're over like ninety dB on its lowest setting yeah. type thing. Anyway. Anyway, right. here is the Halcyon Green. <laughs> In the not mod mode, right? Mm -hmm. 808 mode. Definitely sound different. You get much more nuances in those little, you know, because is that that that's tube now, right? I'm. It is all tube. Yeah. I'm now starting, and again, I don't know if this is psychosomatic. Be interesting to see even what you can pick up on YouTube. I'm starting to feel now that the Nux one has a fizziness that you haven't heard before now that we're into the Hot Rod Deluxe, that the Halcyon doesn't have, I think. And I'm, yeah. I'm talking, you know... Oh, it's the little bit, but that's the, the little things you pay for, the little it? things. Yeah. You know, it's that logo of the Porsche on your steering wheel when you get into it, <laughs> versus... Yeah, of course, this isn't... There, there is another whole um, reason to buy more expensive stuff than cheap stuff when it comes to reliability and longevity, which we're not going... We're just talking tone. We, yeah. you, know, you could step on... Who knows, after you've stepped on those a cheap pedal... 5,000 times, maybe it starts to fall apart, whereas an expensive pedal... Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yeah, maybe it will. <laughs> but, um, okay, keep playing, though. Let's okay. That's the, that's the tube, man. Here's the... It's, it's it's super marginal. I go back to the thing I haven't done before. Is is to roll off the volume on the guitar. Yes. So I'm hearing more gain that, from that. That said, though, this experiment isn't to experiment no, between... Not, it's not can, the pedal. It's not, it it's, should literally is, be... Does the, is, are the differences more obvious? Yeah, I think it's more, it is more obvious now. Mm. I think, because what we started hearing on the Katana was that I had to flick to the other mode mm. to get them to sound more similar. Mm. Now, if I do it again... I definitely have to switch it to mod mode. To get them to sound more similar again. Yeah. So 
it that cost just goes to show that the more affordable amp, the cheaper amp at the end, yeah, didn't you didn't get that out of it, which so means you don't try. need to, to buy this pedal because you don't can't hear it in that yeah. amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. it. So, and then okay, do the clone ones. Clone. Let me go back. To, there. Whoa. So here is the gold. <laughs> Very similar, aren't they? But there's an immediate attack on it. There's that. It's slightly. It's, it, it takes the, the 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 impact of my pick picking uh, less somehow. It's almost like it's compressed or which uncompressed. You, which so, you you hear what but I mean? Are you saying you weren't noticing that on I the cheap I wouldn't. Amp, amp, I was not noticing that it was doing that. There's a there's a there's a sense of when when you play that note here, it's very linear. It's like level, like this. Listen. But as soon as I press that, there's a diff. It's a different attack to the whole pedal. Can I have the, can I have the cable? Yes, you can. I, st I still, I'm still surprised. I, they um, sound similar. But you know, as we mm. talk about this, you keep saying it all the time, and I hate saying these things. But if you're not good enough to make it sound good enough, then there's no point either. Yep. This is another conversation we should. Well, that's that's. Yeah, and I'm that's... not saying, um, but you know, I'm trying to f make it sound like in a nice way, saying that if you're a beginner, novice, what is the point in buying seven, eight grand guitars and five grand amplifiers? Is there a point in that? There's... Other than if you've got the money yeah. and you want to have it, fine. Don't go yeah, if you nuts, want... man. Go eight. Yeah, if you want to buy the best because you just want to because buy the best, because you just want the best, then that's fine. fine. You can afford it. I, th I mean, again, Pete and I often go back to a, um, a, a launch that we were at on the PRS booth at NAM, where John Mayer came in to talk about his new hundred watt Paul Reed Smith um, John Mayer amplifier, which I don't think he's using very much anymore. Daymod. But but for a time was using um, alongside dumbbells and stuff. And he's, he did say, look, you know, you, you, it's difficult to, for him to come across not sounding arrogant, but... It, That's what it, I mean, yeah. He wasn't, he didn't sound arrogant when he said it, but he did say, look, you've got to be a certain level of player to appreciate the difference this kind of amplifier brings. Yeah. And I think you could probably say that for yeah. a lot of products. Well, yeah, like, anyway. put, put, put uh, you know, Lewis Hamilton in... A fo put put me in a Formula One car and then lose Amazon. I'll absolutely f it up completely all the way and crash yeah. it. If we can even get it going, yeah. right? Stick him in a tiny little shit box. He'll he'll drive probably ten seconds quicker around any lap than I would. Yeah. But he's good at it. Yeah. So that's the, the you know. Let me, anyway. let me hear this. So is it in the fingers? Here's a halogen. I tell you what we will do at the end as well is we'll do a no talking just up Pete plays and I'll just literally plug the different amps in so you can There's a, there's a tiny little bit it wants to go a bit more doesn't yeah. it but yeah. again it's quite hard I think this experiment it's quite hard to keep reminding ourselves we're not trying to necessarily go is one pedal better than the no, other no it's not about it's, the pedals does the amp make the differences yeah. easier to hear in my, in my opinion as yeah. far it has it does yeah. make Can a difference try the um... here's a horseman yeah Feel that? 
and you first play it. So first, turn it up and play it with this first note. Yeah. It's, it's almost like it's, it's less compression, like, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's more immediate, but I'm still not necessary. I think it's it's more marginal than I thought it would be. I thought I, I mean, I still think the the nicer amp just sounds better regardless of which yes but it's martin we're, we're talking here but mm. is it is the you know is it worth it from here to there here we go du, 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 du. imperial mark ii we turn the pedals off yep this is a good amplifier isn't it i mean we're only on its clean sound but That's a good amp. I, I, just in case anybody owns the Imperial. In fact, you know, sorry, uh, Noel. This is, uh, <laughs> volume is on two. Treble and bass are exactly halfway up. Mid range is very slightly turned down, like 11 o'clock. Reverb is on two. Presence is halfway up. Uh, this one, we've got the attenuator all the way off. So maximum volume. Um, there is a high frequency damping thing on the back which I've got set to normal uh, and then I can't see from here where are the so we're set? talking channeling this one yeah we're, oh sorry we are in the uh, rhythm channel uh, volume is on, on the first dot the treble is on the it's just I would say what like 10 mm -hmm. 11 11 is that 10 or 11 it's 10 11 half past 10 yeah <laughs> half past 10 and bass is on like one so and reverb and reverb is on nine that's nine o'clock, yeah? Yeah. Sounds so good. And it's, anyway, 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 I like, love this amplifier. Yeah, okay. So uh, here's the halogen yeah. green. To sound like that. Can I, exactly. That's what I mean. This is exactly what yeah. the, my point is. Okay. Here's the. It's not a smooth, there's, there's li this little scratching going on inside, in the sound. So, again, this like no shit Sherlock moment. The better the amp, the better everything sounds. Yeah. Um, the difference is not big. No, it's, it's hard not huge. to say whether, so there you go. Maybe that's our reason for using good amps when we demo pedals, because you're basically showing the pedal off in the best light. That is the reason. Um, right? so, yeah, exactly. But, I mean, There's the clarity scratching. is so much greater on this than. And yeah. go back to the house in. There's some scratching, like in the. In the is in, there? In... You are. There's a weird There's a slight unpleasantness starting to. There's maybe... a scratching. It's almost like a cat is scratching on something, like. The problem but is, the I, again, I still don't know if it's psychosomatic, <laughs> if it's my brain going, oh no, you really shouldn't use a 40 pound pedal with a 3,000 pound Of course you should, if you want to. Um, it's like your favorite pedal, do it. But, but it's okay, let me, let me hear the halcyon. Okay, um, gold. The gold, gold, yeah. Does that do the A chord magic? now something lacking that I possibly for the first time even more on the tone king than on the fender I'm going no no, no yeah, definitely want the halcyon gold now yeah and probably the halcyon green yeah, as well there's this this but hey, 
it's still, not bad. It still does the thing. Yeah. It just maybe it's just it's the thing minus two yeah, percent. But you know, you if you have a an AMG Mercedes, you put P one zero Pirelli tires on there. You know, you right. put the best tires on. Yeah. You don't it's put good, the ones good on. You know, you don't put. You put stick, stick the tuner on. You can have the cable. What are the ones that is on mine? Like. <sighs> Mr. No. Big low, Young Ling Ling tires or something. <laughs> it's terrible. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, that's, the, that's a good analogy, isn't it? Yeah. Just like, you know, you, you put the dearest tires on, on the dearest car. Yeah, but my car is not worth... It's no, not, is it's it? no point in putting yeah. expensive tires on it. Yeah. You know? Anyway, Because it can't on, even you, go 60 miles an hour anyway. You, you play, and then, it, like I say, we'll do, we'll do some sort of start to finish thing. Alison Green. So much more bright. It's and I have really, really odd. Settings. The difference between the Fender and the Tone King as in terms of making the pedal sound different, is the most pronounced, I think, of all yeah. of them. And of course, we'll hear today, but it's so... so... Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I mean, as in yeah. the jump, as, it goes as along. we've gone, as we've gone yeah, along, yeah. that last jump. It, it's got, it's much more, uh, you can hear that, that, that mid-range that the Tube Screamer has, mm. much more as we go up to the price. It's not, it's not night and day here, right? Uh, it's not night and day. Yeah. But here is the Halcyon Gold. It's got that immediately like. It goes from here to there and then straight in there's nothing it just goes wallop right this is just there's something it's that so really gone it's almost like thin, a it's almost it? like a bubble that goes through and into the amp with the other pedal right Draw your own conclusions, but yeah. I think what we're going to say is marginal, marginal differences. But yes, the the more expensive your amplifier is, or the better your amplifier is, I suppose, the more, I suppose, we would recommend buying, or what this experiment has shown is that the, the more you're going to perhaps notice the difference between an expensive pedal and, a, and an yeah. affordable pedal. And conversely, again, if you're, you know, if you've got a Katana or something like the East Coast, the opposite. Maybe you don't need to go and spend hundreds of yeah. pounds on pedals to, because you just won't appreciate the, the, you won't even hear the difference. But let's end with a no talking. Uh, I will, what Pete will do is literally do maybe five or ten seconds on each pedal, just bam, 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 into that amp, and then yep. won't say anything, plug into the next one, do exactly the same thing, won't say anything. And that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're giving away stuff every time we hit 50,000 new subscribers. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Links will be below to all the products we've shown in this video. Thank you. <laughs>